we figured it was gonna do something because the day before there was water running across the road just from the snow melt. It's like, well, that's weird. The water's never come across the road there before. We're gonna try and load some of the calving cows on a trailer. And in the time it took just to get them out of one little pan, the water started coming. In a matter of 10 minutes, it was over top of my knee boots. And it's just amazing what it did with the frost, how it washed holes that were, you know, four or five foot deep. We did lose a neighbor up, uh, north here he was trying to help us stranded somebody had went down a county road that was closed and got stranded and he backed his tractor over the bridge and the bridge gave out and the old tractor went went in what we thought was high ground that night we were back down there moving them virtually we just moved them clear out on the road because the water kept coming up and a tremendous amount of destruction to the land a lot of road destruction the river ran over a lot of roads and, and it was just tough to get out of here. It's as high as recorded history has ever seen it. There was another neighbor that his hay piled on lower ground where he calves along the river and he had a couple two three hundred bales that all but washed away. It's bad from the ground but you see it from the air it's really bad. You have this tendency to feel sorry for yourself but you don't have to look very far and you can find them a lot worse off than we are. Had an individual that called me. He had a bunch of cattle that were stranded on an island and they had a boat. They was taking grass bales over. They were on that knob for a long time. We had a bull sale on March 26th. And then you get this flood thrown at you about two weeks before the sale. About four days before the sale, we started getting calls. And the first question they would ask is, are you having the sale? Yes. How do we get there? And I always said, by helicopter. That was real amazing how many people from out of state were able to put together all these materials who would use this as a staging area. Get what you want and I've unloaded some trucks of hay here because there's no roads getting anywhere now. It's human nature around here you help each other out. Regardless of how successful you are, you give back. You give back to your church, your community, and your industry in that order. The outpouring has been phenomenal on wanting to help. We've had trucks come in from Louisiana, South Carolina. Uh, they just came from all over. The phone calls I've gotten, neighbors and, and uh, people like that, it, just kind of the way we are, it doesn't matter if we're in a disaster or we're not. We, I mean, we said the same prayers for them down in Kansas when they had the fires and we tried to send some hay and supplies and stuff to them guys. And when you have a crisis like this that happens and you see the outpouring of the people in our community, in, in our industry, it's really something how, how word can spread and what people are willing to do.